In this video demonstration, we'll take a look at Checkmarks' SAST engine, available within the Checkmarks 1 application security platform. SAST, or Static Application Security Testing, enables developers and security teams to scan application source code to find, index, and enumerate weaknesses that lead to vulnerabilities within the application. Here we see the main user interface of Checkmarks 1, which is our cloud-based application security platform, where we have a number of projects already configured, along with an enumeration of their overall risk level. Checkmarks 1 has the ability to import projects from all major source code management systems, or SCMs. Here I will click on my Equity Trading App project, which is a GitHub project I imported and configured to automatically perform a SAS scan on push and pull request events. Note how pull requests are automatically decorated by Checkmarks 1 to capture the fixed issues and any newly introduced vulnerabilities relative to the last scan. And by configuring scans to occur during pull requests and push events, this saves developers and AppSec professionals time and effort ensures that we always have the latest SAST results based on the latest committed code. We no longer have to worry about scheduling scans or misalignment between scan results and the latest code within our repositories. Returning to my Equity Trading app, I can see an initial overview of the SAST scan results, and I see a breakdown of vulnerabilities based on severity. Let's dive deeper into our results by clicking Go to Project at the bottom of the modal. On the overview page, I can see a further breakdown of the results, including severity of results over time, an aging summary to understand how long vulnerabilities have persisted, and a breakdown of compliance standards and whether my project is compliant. If I choose the Scanners tab, I can see my results from my SAS scan engine, including new and recurring results. If I had run additional scan engines such as SCA or Infrastructure as Code, I could see the result overview here as well. I can click View Results to see the SAS scan findings broken down by language. It's worth noting that our SAS engine supports over 30 languages, although in this example, our project is only using Java and JavaScript. Let's choose the first result under Reflected Cross-Site Scripting All Clients. Expanding this result, I can dive into the specifics of this vulnerability, where SAST highlights the source of the vulnerability and identifies the BFL, or best fixed location, which is a key differentiator for our SAST offering relative to competing solutions. I can trace the vulnerability through the source code, following the data flow graph that the SAST engine has built. Additionally, I can find a detailed description of the identified vulnerability and how to remediate it within the source code. This saves developers significant time and effort in having to trace through the source code to find the best place to implement a fix. Within the Vulnerability Results view, I can sort and filter the scan findings in a number of ways. Let's change our primary grouping from language to severity. Here I can see I have quite a few reflected cross-site scripting all clients results, which would indicate my developers may need to brush up on their approach to embedding data within the application to ensure they're following good security practices. And while these results may actually constitute security risks, perhaps we have validation within our code to ensure that they are not exploitable. I have the option to mark them as such, so these results will not be returned in future scans. And much like our ability to integrate with an SCMs, we can also integrate with various bug trackers and feedback apps, such as GitHub Issues and Jira. This allows us to automatically raise issues for found vulnerabilities, which we can configure based on severity, so we can save developers time and effort. By raising vulnerabilities as bugs within Jira, our developers don't have to change their processes or workflow for security findings versus bug fixes. Let's have a quick look at what options we can configure for our SAST scan engine. If I click the gear icon and go to Settings, then choose SAST, I see that I can configure the SAST scan engine to use a predefined preset to help hone my queries and number of results, allowing developers to better identify the vulnerabilities they intend to remediate. Out of the box, SAST on Checkmarks 1 uses an optimized preset, this preset contains a subset of vulnerabilities that the Checkmarks AppSec Accelerator team, through years of research and firsthand experience with their customers, considers to be an optimal balance between identifying critical vulnerabilities while minimizing false positives. Unlike other competing SaaS solutions, we understand that not all organizations or projects are the same. To accommodate this variation, I can configure a preset globally or on a per-project level, and I can override the selected preset if needed for individual projects. To understand the query SAST is using to identify vulnerabilities, I can navigate to the query viewer for my project. I can modify these queries to better align to my code, such as adding customized sanitizers or adding additional logic to minimize false positives in my results. This allows me to customize checkmark SAST for my organization and developers, helping to further reduce false positives and return meaningful results. Checkmark SAST is seamlessly integrated within Checkmarks 1 and offers the best out-of-the-box accuracy in the industry. And because we fully integrate with SEMs, IDEs, and bug tracking apps, we can save developers and AppSec teams time and effort, aligning to existing processes and workflows. The power and flexibility of SAST enables your organization to maximize and scale security needs across your development lifecycle. To learn more about Checkmark SAST, visit our website or sign up for a free trial today.